I am Dave M. Strom, member of the California Writers Club Peninsula Branch. In conjunction with the San Mateo County Library, I present for Story Cafe my story, What Goes Up, printed in Fault Zone Uplift. The story so far, Super Holly Hansen, mightiest superhero on Earth, has had a busy day. On the Apricot Computer Campus, she saved the internet from the nefarious and geeky software super genius Cressley Smusher. She stopped a bank robbery by the seven-foot-tall, five-foot-wide, kindergarten vocabulary Super Hulk Harry Headbutt. She rescued a 30-pound cat from a tree and the fire department from most of its teeth and claws, although they might need tetanus shots, but she is still nervous about the audience she would soon face. She asked Chris Jobs, CEO of Apricot Computer, for advice. He said, Show them strength, bravery, awe, and inspire. When you perform, he grabbed her shoulders. You market you! Dozens of adorable kids surrounded Holly, some standing, some sitting, some in wheelchairs and tethered to IV poles or oxygen tanks. All listened to Holly act out her comic book story, Super Holly vs. the Giant Germs. She'd performed at open mics for years, but this audience was the cutest ever. They'd smiled and swayed with the music and sound effects from her new apricot tablet. They'd gasped and cheered at her heroic fighting poses. It was as if she streamed creative energy in their direction. She ended by thrusting her fist toward the heavens. Can Super Holly defeat the terrible tummy-twisting germs? Or, she held the children with her wide eyes and cliffhanger voice, will she throw up her breakfast, lunch, and coffee so hard that her barf will bash holes in brick walls. The kids grinned and said, Ew! How sweet. Holly smiled back. You'll find out tomorrow. Same super place. Same super channel. A nurse carried in a large box and opened it. Who wants Super Holly comic books? Me, 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 me. Nurses put magazines into eager young hands. Holly levitated a foot taller to give her new fans a great view of her farewell wave. They were all so happy. She'd done it. An inspiring catchphrase would put icing on the cake. Stay super, my fanboys and fangirls. Kids waved back, some flapping comic books like flags. <laughs> bye bye, we love you, Holly. Holly? A soft voice cooed. Did someone tug on our cape? Holly looked down. A skinny little girl in a wheelchair big enough for two such girls held a corner of Holly's cape in her tiny fist. She wore a blue t-shirt with a yellow up arrow. Aw, just like Holly's super suit. The girl took a slow deep breath. I really liked your story. Holly alighted next to the girl and gave her a kind-hearted smile. A half dozen bandages clung to the girl's bruised arms. A bag of fluid hung from her IV pole. The plastic prongs of oxygen tubing rested against her nostrils. Poor thing. Thank you, Holly said. I enjoyed reading it to all of you. The girl took another slow breath. Could you tell me the ending now? Holly took the little hand off her cape and patted the fingers. You'll hear it next time, sweetheart. The girl shook her head. I'm not going to be here next time. Holly patted her hand. Oh, she got a better look. Oh, the girl was so thin. Her limbs, they could have turned into twigs. Grayish skin, sunken cheeks, such wispy thinning hair. But her eyes, steady, deep, unblinking. A gaze holding back the grim reaper. For now. Holly's face went hot. You, you mean you're... The girl nodded. Holly's soul fell off a thousand foot cliff and landed flat on its back on rocky reality. 
She grasped the clasp on her cape and Dover gazed deep into the girl's eyes. She channeled superpowers before. Could she do it again? Just one more time. Just a little. Please. Please. Nothing. She let go of her clasp. That part of her life was gone. All gone. The girl, however, remained. Are you all right, Holly? I'm okay. Holly forced a smile. Miss Hanson, we did everything we could. A nurse's firm hand grasped Holly's shoulder. She's going home tonight to spend her last days with her family. Holly turned to the nurse and forced her numb lips to work. You told her? She insists no one lied to her. The nurse smiled with her mouth, but not her eyes. The girl tugged Holly's cape again. I want to be brave like you, Holly. Holly's heart thumped. Her throat tightened. She gulped on saliva and stroked the girl's forehead. So cold. Sure, sweetheart. I'll wheel you over to the corner and finish the story. She pushed the chair, leaned down, and whispered into the girl's ear, But keep it a secret. We wouldn't want to spoil it for everyone else. The girl's eyes and smile shone. I won't tell. Now tell me. Holly's eyes were like crumbling dams. She, of all people, had to hold her emotions together. She tensed up her mighty tear ducts. Holly knelt and put her arm around the girl's bony little shoulders. She'd held the girl wrapped and her voice steady for 15 long minutes. The nurse aimed Holly's e-bracelet at them. Smile. The girl smiled like a homecoming queen. It took super strength for Holly's lips to do the same. The nurse tapped the bracelet. Can I have the picture? The child said. Sure, sweetheart. Holly blinked to clear her vision. She put her e-bracelet back on and tapped the printer icon in its display. A picture popped out of a nearby photo printer. Holly put the photo into tiny, cold hands. She kissed the child's forehead. Here you go. Thank you, Holly. She kissed Holly's cheek, then hugged the photo. Holly stood up after the child left. Her knees which could dent battleship armor, felt like jelly. This is the happiest I've ever seen her. The nurse shook Holly's hand. All her strength, all her superpower, useless. Holly shuffled out of the pediatric unit and down the hall. The familiar man in black body armor and cowl strode up and embraced her with his crime-fighting arms and inky, billowing cape. Oh, Holly. One of the nurses told me what you did. Holly hugged Cal, the intellectual Critbert, her teacher, sparring partner, and soulmate. She held him close, closer, but her heart still hurt. Good thing Cal was immune to her super strength or she'd be crushing his ribs into toothpicks. Oh, Cal, it's easy to be brave when I'm bulletproof. I stopped the destruction of the internet today felled a hulk of a bank robber, halted a runaway train. She's so much braver. Why can't I save her? The elevator arrived with a chime. Cal patted her back. She stepped out of his hug and into the elevator. She did not feel like flying. He followed her. No one can save everyone, he said. He kissed and embraced her again. The time comes when comfort is all we have left to give. The mightiest tear ducts in the world gave up the struggle. Super Holly Hansen cried. <laughs>